Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox tutorial. and today we're actually doing sort of a part two to a little um, episode we did about, I think it was six or seven days ago now, so basically a week, where I added the gas giants to the Kuiper belt. So when I um, did that episode, a lot of you guys did like it, so I thought I'd do like a part two where we add the gas giants all into the asteroid belt. So as you can see, we pretty much got the full inner solar system here, then we got a few outer solar system objects, so we've got Planet 9, Iris and Seth, they're just a so we can see the distance of how far these asteroids are probably going to get thrown. So, without further ado, let's get into this. And so what I'm just setting this up, guys, many, many thanks as usual for all the subscribers. We are definitely going to get, I, I think we're definitely going to get that goal of 1,300 before um, before November. Because we're already about um, 10 or 20% of the way there. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing good, which is um, pretty nice. So, yeah, hopefully we'll hit that target of um, 1,300 before the year, sem oh, not December, November. Wait, yeah, November, because, yeah, we're doing pretty well. So, yeah, many, many thanks so much to subscribe as normal. You're awesome. So, let's get into this. So, Planet 9, we're going to put you there. So, there we go. So, we've got all of the gas giants in the asteroid belt now. So, this is probably going to cause a lot of trouble, because, as you know from the last episode, the Kuiper belt's a lot bigger, and if that was... If the planets there were causing a lot of trouble, since they're in the asteroid belt here, which is a lot, lot closer and a lot, more, a lot smaller... Yeah, these gas giants are probably going to cause a bit of problem. But can we see any of them from Earth here? So Jupiter's over there. So, no, we can't really see Jupiter. Can we see any of the other planets, maybe? You can just about spot Saturn there, if you see on the left there. And then near the planet 9, there's a Uranus. So you can see Uranus as a light blue object. And then Neptune is probably a darker blue, so if we try and find that. Where's Neptune? There it is. <laughs> the coolest planet. All right, anyways, let's zoom out here. And now let's start hitting play. And we're going to start seeing how the orbit... Because I reckon the inner objects, the inner solar system, so that Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, their orbits are probably going to change from this because having all these gas giants in the asteroid belt, yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> so let's start speeding this up. It looks like Planet Nine's already... His orbit has already been changed, apparently. Okay. Damn. That, that happened pretty fast. So Planet Nine's already had a very strange orbit for some reason. And as we can see here... Neptune's orbit's eventually changing, so yeah, that is not good, but we'll keep speeding this up here just to get a good look at what's going on. So, Mercury's orbit's wobbling as it normally would, but let's see what else is going on here. So, it's kind of not really the easiest. We'll put it on a black background so we can see everything as well. So, solid black. We'll also go on flashlight mode here so we can see. So, look, as we can see already, some objects have been thrown out to the orbit of Pluto. Because here's Pluto here. And, uh, wow. Some of these are almost at the distance of planet, not like the normal planet nine here. That that's pretty crazy. And this has all happened in sixty years. So, yeah, that is not good. Look at all the look at all this debris caused, or all of these thrown out asteroids because of the gas giants in the inner solar system here. That that isn't good. And eventually, like last episode, we're going to see where some of the gas giants get thrown out as well. Like because um, remember, at the end of the last episode, I think Jupiter and planet nine were the only two left. So, yeah, that ain't good. So we'll keep, keep going here. So. Let's see what happens. So as we can see, there's a lot of objects here. Look, look they're just been all thrown out. We've got this one here. Planet 9's coming back in to the inner solar system here and then going back out again. Ceres and stuff are probably going to get thrown out as well, honestly. Like, yeah, they may do. Oh, see, Vesta. There we go. I literally just called that one. Vesta's just got thrown out of the main part of the system here. So that is not good. So let's keep going here. Looks like Jupiter's orbiting around. Is that Neptune there it's with? So Jupiter's in a little binary orbit with Neptune now, since they've obviously crossed paths. So how close are these guys to each other? Are they visible from each other? So Jupiter is somewhere. Um, Jupiter? Wait, where are you at? Oh, so Jupiter's up there. So no, it doesn't like you can... Oh, no, you can see it. So they are relatively close to each other here. So that's pretty interesting. So let's keep going. Let's see what happens. So it looks like Jupiter and Neptune broke away from each other. So that's interesting. But Neptune's orbit looks a little bigger than before. But look at this. Some of these objects are beyond the orbit of Planet 9 now, already, and it's been 89 years now, so, yeah. Don't put gas giants in the asteroid belt, people. <laughs> you will mess stuff up. It looks like there's probably, yeah, some objects look like they're closer than the orbit of Mars now, but that isn't normal, because if you didn't know, there is a lot of objects that are closer to, um, or closer than the orbit of Mars. It's just they're not showing up. Or there is one simulation for it, so maybe at the end of the video I'll show it to you guys if I remember, so... Yeah, there is a simulation with a lot of objects um, in the inner solar system. It basically shows the inner solar system at its finest, pretty much. So, yeah, there's that. So, some objects all the way down here as well. Look at this. So, yeah, there we go. 
So let's keep going. Let's see um, the orbits. We can't really run it any faster. This is the fastest we can go. A few months a second here, but that little asteroid here just got thrown out. As you can see, this one's travelling very fast. 40 kilometers a second, so that's pretty crazy. And as we can see, more and more objects are just getting thrown out every single day or every single month. Like It's just more and more coming out all the time. It's pretty crazy, but there is a lot in the main belt still. But there's one very close to the sun here. Look at this. That's closer than the orbit of Mercury almost, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, actually, maybe not. Well, it is quite high up, so, yeah, maybe... Mer it's definitely closer than Venus is to the sun, so look at this guy. Very, very small as well. Only three centimetres in size, but an asteroid is an asteroid, so that is that. Oh, let's um, slow down again. Actually, you know what? I don't want to slow down. What am I saying? So, let's keep going. Ah, stop wobbling. Knock onto the sun. No game. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah, so if you didn't know, Mercury's orbit always wobbles like that, if you were wondering. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool, interesting thing. So, all right, anyways. Let's keep going. So, more and more objects getting thrown out. But we just need to wait till Jupiter meets up with one of the other gas giants or something. Because eventually it will catch up, or Saturn or will catch up with it. Just depending on how long it takes. Because one of these definitely has a short year. So, Jupiter's year, right now, is... Uh, where is it? So, 4.76 years. And Saturn is 4 or 8, how much is Saturn? So Saturn's 4.83, so Jupiter will eventually go all the way around the Sun and catch up with Saturn, so when those two do get close, yeah, that, that's going to cause some problems. <laughs> oh, more objects are getting tossed out, look at this. Damn. Where's Uranus gone? I haven't seen much on Uranus. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. So Uranus is hidden on the other side of the Sun from all those guys, so that's that. Pluto and Uranus are just chilling out here in the outer system. We've got the original Plat 9, and that's, this guy's pretty far away. This has pretty much left the solar system. This is like further away than the Voyager probes are. 77.2 kilometers a second in speed. That's that's pretty crazy. Or velocity, I should say. So, yeah, that's that's bonkers almost. So, now let's go a little... Let's just so we can speed this up a little more. Let's um turn off automatic tolerance. And let's... Just so we can speed up a little faster. So, there we go. So, now we can travel at a year a second here. So, that's good. All right. So, Jupiter is eventually going to catch up with Saturn. Uranus is... It looks like Uranus's orbit's bigger as well. It looks like it's slightly been bent. Now, if we look on these stats here, if we look at the semi-major axis here, if that number changes, then that means its orbit is changing. So as you can see, it is changing. So right now, Uranus's orbit is being slightly altered by the orbits of the other objects. And it looks like Mercury's... No, okay, I, I want to say Mercury's orbit is slightly different, but I don't know because it always does wobble around. So I don't know about that. Let's check on Jupiter's orbit. This is the most dominant object in the asteroid belt, so... So 2.87 semi-major axis. So it's it'll be, oh, hang on, something just happened there. So that was Vesta again. So Vesta's been orbit is going really far right now because as we can see, Vesta is orbit is so far out right now it surpasses the orbit of Pluto there. So that's pretty crazy. So looking good. Uh, so there's so many objects here. Oh my god, there's so many little particles. Okay, where's Saturn? How are you doing? So Saturn's orbit changing in any way here? 2.85. Oh, oh is, hang on, what's that? That's that's Uranus's orbit. So Uranus's orbit has just been affected by Jupiter there. So, yeah, Jupiter's definitely the killer of this solar system as usual because it's the biggest object. So, yeah, it's the second biggest power apart from the sun. So, that's that. So, yeah, Uranus's orbit's now been bent. And we're probably going to see it happen with Neptune eventually as well. But Neptune's struggling behind Jupiter there. So, yeah, they probably won't meet for a while. But, yeah, poor old Uranus got taken out again. I think it was the same as last episode. I think um, Uranus was taken out first as well, sadly. I think it was thrown out. So that sucks. Yeah, because remember, Uranus, Neptune, and Planet 9, they are smaller orbits. Oh, no, no, what am I saying? Planet 9 was first to get tossed out of the, of the gas giants. But yeah, Uranus, Neptune, and Planet 9, they're a lot smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, so they're not as powerful in their gravity and all their mass and all that. So, yeah, they're going to get tossed out a little easier than Jupiter and Saturn would. So we just need to wait till Jupiter meets up with Saturn, because that's where the real problem is going to begin. So, yeah, Uranus's orbit is continually changing now. Okay, let's look back onto the sun. No, I don't want to lock onto Mercury. Lock onto the sun, please. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's keep going here. Now, so there's a Neptune. Okay, so Jupiter. So Saturn looks like it's catching up with Jupiter now because you know, they're taking a while. So we just got to wait pretty much until they do it. But yeah, just look at this. A lot more objects are being tossed out here. Now, look at this. There's a lot of them um, being thrown out. So they're a lot far away than Planet Nine's orbit now. So that's pretty crazy. And just look at all this. This is like going out to the orbit of the Kuiper Belt now, because remember, Pluto, just after the orbit of Pluto, you have the Kuiper Belt. And these objects are making their way there slowly but surely, so that's pretty crazy. But yeah, poor old little asteroid belt. <laughs> it's just being shredded by all these gas giants. Oh, Jupiter's closing in on Neptune again here. Look at this. 
So they're getting close to each other. So, yep, Jupiter's definitely catching up with Neptune, all right? So let's keep an eye on the orbit of Neptune here, because it's definitely going to change. So we'll, we'll look onto Neptune, actually. So, yeah, it was getting close. Oh, it looks like it's just escaping, actually, because I think it's slightly more... Oh, that is lucky. But yeah, it looks like it's just escaped Jupiter than that one. So that is interesting. All right, let's... Um, Let's try and get it sped up a little more. So it's gone simulation settings again. Let's um, just mess around with this again so it goes quicker. And Mercury's orbit, I'm sorry, but that is definitely changing. It's definitely being stretched out. I'm sure it is. Unless it's just me and I'm going crazy, but I, I think it is. So let's keep going here. Okay, so there's Uranus again. Oh, it's so hard to keep a track of all the objects here, but I'm trying to do my best. So we just need to speed it up and keep an eye on the orbits here. So there's a lot more objects being sprayed out on there, if you see carefully. So... Right, whose orbit was that? Hygieia. So another one of the large asteroid belt objects has been affected now. I'm surprised Ceres and stuff. Ceres, Mr. Spock and stuff. Pallas as well. That object there. These are the objects. So I'm surprised that I'm surprised they're surviving. Actually, where is Ceres? Ceres? I think it is in here. Ceres, Ceres, Ceres. So Ceres is right there. Okay, I didn't spot it. So, all right, cool. At least Ceres is still alive. Yay. All right. Looking good. So let's um, keep an eye out on that as well. So, looking good. So, Planet 9 is coming back into the inner solar system again. Oh my god, the heck. Is this Mercury's orbit? Yeah, stop. Lock onto the sun. There we go. Yeah, Mercury's orbit is going completely bonkers now. <laughs> Look at this. Alright, so let's keep um, running the simulation here and we'll keep going as fast as we can. So, yep, yeah, still more and more objects being tossed out here. Look at this. Some of them are travelling so fast as well. It's crazy. Look at this one. How did it get all the way out there? This one's travelling at. 353 kilometers a second that thing so it's only taken it 365 years to get this distance so that's pretty good it's crazy as well wow so let's keep an eye so saturn's i want to say saturn's orbit has been changed as well because it seems it's a little more further out now so that's pretty interesting so yeah saturn's even getting uh, messed around and pushed around by the big jupiter here so that's not good so it looks like all the objects have been affected apart from neptune now i want to say because neptune's still just chilling in the middle in the main area still so yeah Sat yeah saturn's still doing it but saturn has definitely changed as well and now the orbit of earth looks different so or venus i think because venus is slightly closer to earth there so yeah venus's temperature is rapidly changing it goes from 505 to like 419 if you look carefully at those numbers there so venus has been affected how's mars doing mars mars it could be in a bit of a danger zone because it is quite close to the asteroid belt now because remember if we um turn off all the orbits here and have a look look how spread out the asteroid belt is now like these objects are going to the orbit of earth now so remember could have a lot of meteor showers but remember these objects are very very small so they wouldn't affect earth in any way because They'll just burn up in the atmosphere, no problem. These objects are very, very small. But remember, that, so they are still objects, so yeah, keep an eye out for them. But yeah, they would cool. there'd be no threat to us. Even if there was like thousands of them. They're just so small, they would all burn up in Earth's atmosphere, which is good. So yeah, no worries there. But it's just when an object like Ceres or Pallas or one of the big guys, when they hit Earth, yeah, that could cause problems. Anyways, let's keep going here. So I really want to see Saturn or something get thrown out. Because it's going to happen eventually. It's in... It's in... In... in, in, in okay. I can't say that word. Inevitable. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm I'm garbage at pronouncing. But oh, oh, Venus! Look at Venus! Look at that! Just Venus just got completely changed there. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, something just got tossed out. So Saturn has been completely gone. Oh my god! And Venus is gone as well. Earth as well. You just need to speed it up a little more. But yeah, Earth, Venus. They've all been tossed out, and the asteroids are going absolutely berserk. Look at this. It's just spraying thousands of them. So yeah, Saturn, Earth, Venus has just been absolutely launched. Mercury's gone as well. So now, it, Mars is the only planet left. And uh, that is pretty crazy. And Mars is in a bit of a dangerous area there as well. Oh, and it looks like Mars has just been flung out. Oh, no. Well, rest in peace in the solar system. Just look at this. The only objects left are, seem to be Pallas and Ceres, I want to say, and Hygieia as well. So we have just gone absolutely crazy with this. Oh, my Look at these orbits. Look at this. Like, if we just turn off this for a second. Look how many it's spraying out. Like, because remember, orbit of Pluto and Iris here, these orbits haven't really... Yeah, these orbits are still pretty the, much the way they were when we started the episode. These objects are, like, further out now. Look, we've, look how... They're, they're just... Yeah, this solar system is gone. <laughs> we'll add Alpha Centaurian, right? And we'll see how far or how many light years these guys get spread out. So, 
Alpha Centauri is four. Is it? I can never. Is it three point seven or four point seven? Let me check. I, I keep on forgetting. It's. I'm sure it's four point seven. So um, how how far away is it? It is. 4.37, okay, 4.37, alright, that's probably how I got mixed up, yeah, so 4.37 light years away, so, let's get Alpha Centauri again, or the closest star system, we'll pull it, 4.37 light years away, and we'll see how long it takes some of these asteroids to get to Alpha Centauri, because they probably will eventually, so, let's go to 4.3, not 4.38, 4.37, please. There we go, 4.37, so that's how far Alpha Centauri is away from the sun there, so let's see how long it takes for some of these asteroids to get all the way to Alpha Centauri A, so right now this is the closest object I want to say, actually no, it probably, no it's not, I think it looks like Mercury is almost, oh my god, wait, we, they're not pulling each other towards, actually let's just position lock these so they don't change, so yeah, we'll keep the sun and Alpha Centauri locked in place so they don't pull each other together, because yeah, we don't want the sun getting involved in all of this carnage because that that will cause real issues. So let's um, lock on the sun, please. See, there's just so many asteroids here. So let's put you on position lock and now hit play. So there they go. So now it's not going to have any effect on the Alpha Centauri system because they, they they can't do anything. These guys are pretty much locked in place. See, look, position lock. It may say it's doing 18 kilometers now, but it's position locked. It cannot move. So that's good. So now if we keep going here. Look how many asteroids are getting spread out. There can't be many left in the original um, area here. Like, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this. Look how much is wobbling around. Like, damn. Um, where's Jupiter gone? Oh, my God. Wait, this Ju even Jupiter has somehow managed to get its orbit all mucked up. <laughs> oh, Jupiter's been thrown out. What the heck? And Neptune as well. What? I don't even know what's going on, but <laughs> this is just cool mayhem. Look at this. It's like all the planets have been tossed out apart from Iris and Pluto here. Because those guys are still in their original orbits. But it looks like even though we put these guys in the asteroid belt, their orbits are still going out to where probably where Uranus and Neptune normally are in their orbits anyway. So, yeah, minus 200 degrees. Like, that's how much they would be from their normal distance from the sun. So, this is just a nightmare. <laughs> Where's Ceres? Is Ceres survived? Mrs. Spock is here. Hygieia, Vesta. Where's Ceres? Ceres? Oh, oh, poor, oh, poor series. It's just been completely flung out. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, that's poor series. But, yeah, there we go, guys. So, whatever you do, do not put the gas giants in the asteroid belt. Because, as you see there, we have... Look how many objects have been flung out of the asteroid belt. It's not even an asteroid belt anymore. It's just a, just a complete mess of asteroids. Just all, it's just like a giant ring just going out forever. Look at this. Look how, look how many asteroids are there. Damn. That's pretty crazy, but now, let's um, let's go put it on 0%, um, right, let's lower this all the way down, now hit play, let's just see how fast we can get this simulation to go, so let's see how long it will take these objects to reach the Alpha Centauri area, so, we're going as fast as we can now, let's just see how long it takes, so, yeah, this might take a while, so, in fact, actually, we can delete Mercury, Venus, because these guys have been flung out, so they have no effect on the simulation anymore, so, poor series, I'm sorry guys, but you have no use anymore, so, Let's, um, yeah, they have no orbit, so delete Neptune. Let's get rid of you. Poor old Earth again. Oh. And Jupiter as well. Surprisingly, Jupiter somehow got taken out, so that's pretty interesting. So these are the only objects left now. That's not good. Can we speed up? Oh, because we can speed up a little faster. But it might take a while. Because this guy, this guy's well on its way. 121 kilometers a second, so. Yeah, we're only doing about 37 years a second here, so it's not really the fastest, but. As you can see, it is making its way there, so it's pretty good. Like, this asteroid here, that's that's a very far distance away. Like, damn, if we put it in auto orbit, can we see how... Oh, then we can't see anything how far away it is. But it's 87 light years away from me. So if I, if I go to the sun here, we can see how far away it is from the sun. So we're going back to the solar system here. So we'll go right pretty much to the center. So this thing's about 4 light, 4.86 light years away, so... If Alpha Centauri was in the direction of this asteroid, it would have passed Alpha Centauri by now, so that's pretty crazy. So, in theory, the, like, the furthest out object, so this guy's already further away than Alpha Centauri is. So this guy's left the solar system completely, it's just free roaming around the Milky Way now, pretty much, so that's pretty crazy. But yeah, this is the closest object to Alpha Centauri now, so that's pretty crazy. So let's just go to Alpha Centauri here. Let's lock on really close. Oh, oh my god, that's too bright. I burn in. I'm sorry if anyone's watching at night time in the dark. <laughs> so, the closest object is that. So, this is about 
2.4 light years away. So it's all, it's about halfway almost. It's about almost halfway for, in between the Sun and Alpha Centauri here. So that's pretty crazy as well. It's just mayhem. I can't believe. Just look how this was the asteroid belt. This was originally in between the orbit of Jupiter and Mars. That's just ridiculous. Because remember, Planet 9 has been thrown out here. I oh, know that's the original one. What am I saying? Yeah, the, the, the Planet 9 we added is in here. But Pluto nearest. This was their original orbit size. So Pluto is about... 40 AU away right now, so that's pretty much what it normally is, I believe. So, so yeah, something around that, but that's just crazy. So, nothing in the inner solar system anymore, it doesn't look like. The asteroid belt, or what's left of it, is where this point here, where Vesta is. I think this is where the asteroid belt originally was. So, yeah, that ain't good, but yeah, there we go, guys. So, yeah. So, it pretty much only took 6,000 odd years for some of these objects to get over 4 light years away, so that's further than the distance of Alpha Centauri here, so... That's pretty crazy, but now, as we end this episode off, guys, it just, well, just as um, always, many, many thank yous to everyone who watched. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, and if you've got any ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comments, but remember, I, won't, I may not be able to make a video on it straight away, since I do have a lot of ideas to do, but anyways, let's go to the solar system here. Now, I believe, yeah, this this simulation here, pot, pot of potentially hazardous asteroids, so I've been on this one before. And this is what the inner solar system actually looks like. So it's not just uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and then the Astro Belt and Ceres and stuff. This is the real. This is the real inner solar system. So it's, it's quite busy, like the outer solar system. Maybe I should make my custom solar system with all these objects, but that'd be pretty crazy. But yeah, here is what the um, inner solar system really looks like. So where's our good old Earth? So here's Earth. So you can see it here. Let's come on, zoom in on Earth. Okay, there we go. So as you can see. That's a lot of that's a lot of objects floating around. So if you thought it was just simply just the inner planets and then the asteroid belt a lot further away, well think again because there is a lot of objects in the inner solar system. Here. Just look at this. Now we keep labels on actually, but just look at this. There is a ton. See, look, these guys are getting pretty close to Earth here. Like that's a relatively close distance. Like and then they got these tiny little ones here. That is close. You can see uh you can see the blue Earth if you look carefully there. You can see Earth there, like, they, they are relatively close, but you won't see any of these in the night sky, because they're just too damn small, but, yeah, if you, if you have, like, it, or we can just track where they are with, like, satellites and stuff, I believe, but, yeah, you won't be able to see them from the night sky, even with a telescope, you probably won't be able to see them, unless you've got a very, very complex one, I'm guessing, but, yeah, not many people probably have those giant building telescopes in their backyard, so, yeah, that's that, so, if you want to go somewhere cool, go to that, um, Chile Observatory, because that, that is a pretty cool place. If you ever get the chance, like, do it. <laughs> That'd be cool. So, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, so that is that, guys. So, if you thought um, the inner solar system was a safe place, think again. Like, that's just bonkers. Like, we can add, the, we can add an extra asteroid belt in as well, just to really heat up the amount of asteroids. So, here's the asteroid belt here. You can see these darker color objects. So, yeah, there's a lot of objects here. And then the orbit of Jupiter is here. So, even... Um, with the orbit of Jupiter. So we can add the moons of Jupiter here as well, just to see how far the Jupiter orbit spreads. So here's here's Jupiter. Okay, what well, hit? Okay, you can just throw all the objects out here. But yeah, as you can see there, these asteroids are almost reaching the orbit of Jupiter and its moons. That that's just crazy. Like some of these some of these moons of Jupiter are so far away from Jupiter, they almost like connect with the inner asteroids here. But remember, Jup a lot of Jupiter's moons, like these tiny little asteroids, probably were from the asteroid belt and all of this that they got caught by Jupiter, um, Jupiter's gravity. So, yeah, interesting fact that Jupiter probably captured a lot of its objects. The, the moons that formed around Jupiter are probably like Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, but all the little asteroid ones, they could have formed somewhere else and Jupiter picked them up, um, like a hitchhike almost. So, yeah, that is that. So, yeah, there we go, guys. So, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and all that good stuff. And, yeah. That is that for this video, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Laters.